How does Cortana stack up against Google Now and Siri? Let's find out. For this test, we're going to use the iPhone 5S, we're going to use a Lumia Icon with Windows Phone 8.1, and a Motorola X with Android 4.4. Turn Wi-Fi off. As you can see, the iPhone 5S did turn off Wi-Fi. Same thing with Windows Phone 8.1 and Cortana. Motorola's uh, phone here, however, did not. It just did a Google search. Let's see how they all handle a Foursquare check-in. Foursquare, check-in. As you can see, they all handle things a little bit differently. The Windows Phone 1 did actually launch into Foursquare for the check-in. Apple, unfortunately, just did a web search, as did the Motorola X. Now, in fairness to Motorola, though, it can do check-ins. It's just a different order. Check-in, Foursquare. Opening app. So Android does do this very well. It just has a different word order. But as you can see, it does do a check-in. So. Basically, they all perform similar, at least these two. Unfortunately, we're not sure about Apple. Let's see how they handle making Skype calls. Call Sam Sabri on Skype. Did you hear Sam calling Sam Sabri? Yes. Calling Sam. And we're going to hang up there before the call actually goes through. Hopefully, we can do that quickly enough. And we did. So the results there are basically Windows Phone can make calls to Skype. The uh, Android Google Now has no idea and tries to do a Google search. And Apple does make a call. Unfortunately, it went to his mobile number and not through Skype. So Windows Phone appears to be the winner there. Let's see how she does with sports. When's the next Miami Heat game? <laughs> and they all are very successful in that regard. So sports, they're all pretty much even. When it comes to tracking flights, let's see how all three perform. Flight status, AA125. American okay. Airlines 125 from Chicago to Seattle is on time and departs in 16 hours, 46 minutes. Well, basically, Windows Phone and Android seem to be the winners here, with Apple just bringing up a web search. And if I had to pick a winner, actually, it would probably be Google, since it does read out that information. It sounds a little bit more thorough. But the information presented on the screen is basically the same. What about finding restaurants? What is the best Indian restaurant around me? Actually, they all do pretty well there. As you can see, Cortana competes just as well with Google Now and Apple Siri. They all bring up the results and they seem to sort them by ratings, which is exactly what we expected. So they all perform pretty well. What happens if I need to navigate someplace? How will they perform? Navigate me to the nearest Dunkin' Donuts. And look at that, all three apps do the exact same thing. Starting route to Dunkin Donuts. Although, if I had to pick a winner, it would probably be Windows Phone because it's slightly faster, but I'm not sure that really makes a difference. All three are excellent for navigating to the nearest location. What about when it comes to my appointments? What's my schedule like? So they all basically do the same thing. You can see when this phone brings up the calendar appointments just for today. Google gives you a little bit more of a look ahead, as does uh, Apple. So, But they all do pull up your calendar appropriately. What about launching a web browser and going to a specific website? Go to CNN.com. So when it comes down to launching a specific website, you can see uh, 
Android basically does go right to the website after confirming it, whereas Siri and Cortana both do a web search. So unfortunately here for Windows Phone, it's not the winner, but Android is. What about when it comes to taking a note? Note, I need to go park the car. Saving your note. Saving note. Here's what I got. And look at that, all three are taking, basically taking my notes right now. Uh, they do it slightly different. Windows Phone saves it to OneNote, and in fact I can tap it and go into the OneNote. I can also play it back. And so it basically goes there and then I can go and share it with people if I wanted to by going to down the menu, I can sync, I can share, I can also pin it to my start, which is really nice. Uh, Google handles it a little bit differently. So it saves the note and then it goes view notes. And what it did was create an email. And so I basically had that note created here and you can see it here along with the attachment. It too has the audio saved a little bit differently handled. And finally, Apple Siri does create the note and I can tap it, it launches and it goes into the note app, which I can also then use to share to mail message and do other things with it. Although I would probably say the OneNote integration is probably a little bit better since it ties into Windows 8 as well as Android and Apple system, as opposed to just creating an email, but we'll leave the choice to you as all three basically will perform very well. And what about getting the weather? What is the weather like on Tuesday? Tuesday's forecast for Marlboro is 63 degrees with a chance of rain. Showers with a high of 61 and a low of 35. So all three bring up the weather. And in fact, you can ask them things like, about, do I need an umbrella? And all three will answer that question appropriately. We hope you enjoyed our showdown between Google Now, Siri, and Cortana. Which one was the winner? We'll let you decide, but we're pretty happy with Cortana. Don't forget, it's still technically only a beta, and Google Now and Siri have been out for a long time. We think Microsoft will greatly improve the service over the next coming months, but you tell us what you think. Head to WP Central for more information. Take care, everybody.